Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spike Essential app. Now, this app can be downloaded for free from the LEGO Education website. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Here we have the home page or the splash screen for the Spike app. Now, we need to choose the appropriate solution. For this video, we're going to be looking at Spike Essential as used in the first LEGO League Explore Division. I click on Spike Essential and that takes me to this home page. There's a couple of areas that we can take a look at here. Down the left hand side, we have a series of blades taking us to different areas. We have a nice welcome splash screen at the top showing us that we are in Spike Essential. We have a list of any recent projects that we've worked on. And below that, we have some quick links to either the unit plans for teaching lessons or to build instructions for various models. Finally, up at the top right, we also have the ability to toggle between Spike Essential and Spike Prime should we need to. If we continue down the blades on the left hand side, the first one we get to is the start blade. In here, there are a series of five simple tutorial activities to get you started. Each covers an individual piece of equipment part of the Spike Essential kit and shows you how to use it to its best effect. Continuing down, we have units. In here, there are a range of different units that you can use to deliver sessions to your students. Bear in mind that the first time you go into the app, if you are using any app other than the web version, you will need to download the relevant unit. Please be aware that as units are updated, you will also need to update them prior to using them. At the top right hand corner of the unit plan blade, we also have a link to the lesson plan and teacher support part of the LEGO Education website. The build blade, as you would expect, contains a series of build instructions for a variety of LEGO Essential builds, ranging from carnival activities to transport solutions, right the way down to arcade machines and a range of others. And lastly, we have my projects. Now, please bear in mind, this is the desktop version of this application. If you are using the web version or the iOS version of this app, you will not have the My Projects blade or it may appear in a different location. The My Projects blade, as you would expect, contains all of your projects that you have previously worked on. At the bottom left hand corner of the home page here, you can see we also have a help manual and the ability to change our settings. To return back to the home page at any time, simply click on the home blade and there we are back at our home page.